Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. and I'm here today to bring you the review for Divine Gate episode number 11. Now I'm not going to spend too much time on this, I'm just going to break it down nice and simple for you all. So Atto has a twin brother and then we go into a flashback where we learn about their past together. Now to just break that down nice and simple, they had abusive parents. That's all it is really. And in Atto, in order for Atto's the older brother, and then for in order to just avoid the younger brother also getting punishment, uh, he averted all trouble caused towards him. So if anything went wrong, he said he would do it, so he would get punished instead. But the bro didn't get this. And throughout the episode, just at one point at the episode, we see the bro want to attack him. Now he's got a driver, he is also an adapter, and he just goes on the attack. But Atto doesn't want to fight, so he's dodging dodging attacks, trying not to um, fight back, trying to convince him, like, yo, I don't want to fight you. Eventually, Undini, I think her name is, and now I think she was a teacher within the World Council, but regardless of that, I think she has some sort of feelings towards Atto and this is why she jumped in the way of an attack and she ended up getting heavily injured. So if she is a teacher, you know, teacher-student relationships shouldn't really go on, but hey, but yeah, so she gets attacked and she's fairly hurt and it's because of this Atto attacks back. Now I'm starting to think that Atto have feelings for her as well. Possibly. But yeah, he attacks back, he gets in a nice clean hit, and the bro is like, yo, so you're getting serious now. For a second there, you actually wanted to kill me. And he's basically like, yeah, we'll finish this later. Then he cuts. Then we find out that this little ghost boy, who I probably mistook for Atto's younger brother at some point, we find out that he is actually like the the uh, the guide I think it was the guide I think it was said it was to help people get to the divine gate. But in order for anyone to see them, they have to have experienced despair. Atto experienced despair at a very young age. We know that Akeni and Midori just recently experienced it, um despair. That's why they can now see him. And he takes them to the Divine Gate. Now the Divine Gate is working like a scale, a scale, sorry, and I think it measures up hope and despair. And then, yeah, the, the little kid tells them, what do you want to do? Do you want to change the future? Do you want to change the past? So I feel sorry for Atta and his brother, like, you know, abusive parents. It's never a good thing, so I do feel sorry for them on that part. I think it was Atto's brother who was involved in the whole Blue Christmas incident because he brings up in the episode. We also had a little scene of our friend Loki. They were talking about things as you had they've been doing for a couple of while now. We also had the scene where we had the Scandinavian gods and Oz. Oz says something like that I gave you this power and I'm gonna take it away from you. And he does an attack and it seems like to he seems like he has wiped out all the Scandinavian gods. So it seems like Oz has dealt with the gods and that one who was in the explosion with Akane's dad didn't die, so wow. For that, but that, yeah, that is definitely everything to have happened in episode now. I feel the episode was, I feel, because <laughs> like I said in my previous review, like I'm, I'm just done this series now, I don't really like it, but I do believe it generally deserves a three and a half star rating, so that's what I'm going to give it. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.